Hi, I'm Amy and this is the Dekine Sherpa 60 liter rolling gear bag. I bought this bag because I wanted to have a bag that could accomplish a couple different things. Um, this one fulfills all of my needs because you can actually carry it like a duffel bag. Um, there's a lot of different handles, so it's pretty easy to carry here. You can also, this is a really cool part, is you can use it as a backpack. So I probably won't be using this as a backpack much, but I wanted to have the option. So you can see here that this back part unzips and there's actually backpack straps that pop out of here. There's also a little pocket down here for the waist strap. So you can clip it around your waist if you're planning on carrying it for a long time. If it's heavy, you're gonna want that waist strap and it just kind of tucks away nicely in here and zips back up pretty easily. So I feel like I could do this pretty quickly if I needed to. I have a bad back, so I didn't want to carry it all the time, but I also wanted to have the option to carry it if I need to uh, jump on a boat or something like that where it needs to happen pretty quickly. I can't be driving and rolling backpack around. Duffel bag, roller, or also a backpack if you wanted to use it that way. I actually recently took this on a cruise to Florida. So I flew to Florida um, with this bag. I, I checked it. In fact, I think that you could probably use it as a checked bag or a carry-on. It does have these straps, so you can actually pull these straps really tight to sort of cinch it more and I think you could probably get away with this depending on the airline. I read a couple reviews that people said that they could get away with it so that's pretty cool, save you a little bit of money. One thing about this bag is that it is a black bag. So on the carousel at the airport it is very hard to see this bag especially because it looks like every other bag in the world. Cheap fix, I bought a little lanyard at the dollar store. I actually just hooked it onto the top here and it's obnoxiously yellow. So you can see it really easily. That really helped me out a lot. The straps and the zippers are all black. It was a little bit of a struggle when it was dark and I wasn't really sure where the zippers were because I'm not familiar with the bag yet. Um, I wish they had made these zippers like red or something. I went on a cruise with it and it fit perfectly under the bed. It was a small twin bed and I was able to kind of just squish it down. Let me walk you through sort of the, the different pockets of the bag. Side pocket here. So this covers, which will be good for the brain. Open this up. This pocket is probably gonna be good for shoes. There's a couple little zipper pockets in here as well. There's also a couple of side pockets, which are actually horizontal pockets, which is, I wish they had been vertical, but still nice nonetheless, maybe good for sunglasses or something like that. I'm gonna also call this a shoe pocket on this side. It opens up. I was able to slide a pair of sandals in here, so not gonna be able to fit bulky shoes, but something small you should be able to fit in there as well. The main pocket. This part is pretty nice. You're able to just unzip it. So you can see in here, there's a lot of space. It's 60 liters, so it's a good amount of space. There's also a little zipper pocket in here, which I found really useful for like cosmetics and other small things like that. One thing I would definitely recommend with this bag is get packing cubes. This is the one that I use. So I used about four or five of these on my trip to Florida. This is the Amazon Basics one. I'll link it below. This fit really well in here and it was able, you know, helped me organize my bag. So one thing I really like about this bag is that there's a lot of places to grab it. Sometimes when you're getting off a train or a bus, um, you wanna be able to do it quickly. There's a lot of different places here you can grab the bag. This rolled really well on my trip to Florida. I use this rolling part um, almost exclusively. The wheels are really good. They're like rollerblade wheels, so they're not like the cheap sort of office chair wheels. So one thing about this material is that I do feel good about if it got wet. Sometimes you're walking and there's a rainstorm. If it fell into a puddle, I'm very clumsy, so I'm sure I will eventually trip and fall into some kind of puddle. This material is very thick and water resistant. It would help a lot um, given my clumsiness. I love this bag but one thing that kind of uh, was a little bit annoying is the handle. I'm about 5'4 and this handle seems to be about 5'4 as well. <laughs> uh, it's really tall which got a little annoying when I was trying to navigate like small hallways and elevators. There's a butt flap which is where the backpack straps are held but when you undo the backpack strap, so you're wearing it like a backpack, but there's this flap hitting your butt the whole time. Overall, I really like the Dekine Sherpa bag. 60 liters, I think, is the perfect size for me. I like to be able to pack a lot of things. I'm able to use this bag in a lot of different occasions. Uh, I took it on a plane, I took it on a cruise, and next week I'm actually going to be taking on a road trip. So I think this bag is a really good choice for anyone that kind of wants something a little bit more convertible. It wore a little bit on the back, so there's a little bit of wear there, but otherwise it held up perfectly. Overall, I really like the Dekine Sherpa. I think it's a great choice, and I would recommend it for sure.